But while I'm working on putting some content together and just chasing uh, my bear cub around the yard, I figure I'll start by telling you guys the real basic basics um, of grass. And I mean, number one thing with any time you're choosing plants is really choosing the best plant, you know, what, where you're growing your grass at. Um, and I don't mean sun or shade. In general, we're going to use the same stuff here. Um, you know, you got your fescues and you got your bluegrasses and anything other than that, you're going to be working pretty hard to keep a nice looking lawn. So, you know, the very first thing is, well, what, what genetics, what strands, what, what varieties of grass are you, are you using? And, um, we're pretty, we're pretty hard cells on the mountain view lateral spreading fescues. Uh, we like Berenberg's, um, bluegrass, their HGT bluegrass. And we're just now starting to use the Berenberg, um, RTF fescue. Uh, I'm not going to lie. The thing about RTF fescue is if it really works as good as they say, it's going to work. It's going to ruin a lot of our need to, to reseed yards. Uh, I don't love that, but also I don't know how it's going to blend. Um, and it's so dang expensive that, you know, when I can buy three bags to one, um, for the same price, it, it's just not, it's just not economically responsible. And it doesn't look like we're being competitive when we go talk to our customers and give them prices. And, um, you know, I don't want to name any names, but the guys in the big red trucks that are charging five times what we're charging for their aerating and seating, um, they're not even using the Berenberg. They're just charging like they are. So, I guess we could do it and we'd still be competitive, but I'd rather expand and allow people of a maybe more modest income level to be able to have a nice lawn and, and just take care of their lawn using healthy practices.